So, um, so um, moving, moving from one very um, interesting area um, to another, if we could get the um, other question slide up, please. Um, we've heard um, from Charlie about cancer genes and um, the, the problems and the relevance um, for treating kidney cancer. Um, and, and now we're going to hear something about immunotherapy. And hopefully you can all see those questions. Uh, I, I guess quite a few people in the audience have spent much of their careers doing immunotherapy. And, you know, I in a sense, we, we viewed it as a past era in kidney cancer. Now we've got targeted treatment. But I think, as Bernard Escudier has already said, maybe things are beginning to change. So if you look through this question, T-cell checkpoint inhibitors, so that's drugs like nivolumab um, and ipilimumab for those who treat melanoma. Number one, are probably only relevant to kidney cancer and melanoma, given the rationale for immunotherapy in these diseases. Number two, will probably only be used in the setting of expression of the pdl one biomarker. Number three, may be easier to combine with anti-VEGF uh, therapy than mTOR inhibitors. Number four, have significant toxicity in most patients. Or number five, will probably have limited activity as single agents in poor risk kidney cancer. So vote, please. And if we can have the music, that'd be great. Uh, either one. Okay, David. Um, so, um, lots of different answers there. My eyesight's struggling a little bit, um, but it looks like the commonest one was the third one. Maybe easier to combine with anti-VEGF therapy than mTOR inhibitor.